everyone and welcome to a new episode of Genji Impact. So yeah, some notice to do in case I have to do this here for another video, but apparently the Paladir fight and you know the final act of Sumer is gonna be in the next update. Huh, I'm kinda of fool to think of that. But can you blame me? But yeah, we're gonna continue with the other event here with Razor. And I cannot put that aside for the weekend. So let's look up. Huh? Where the heck's Razor? Paimon thought he would have been here by now. Hmm. He had a pretty big day when we last saw him. Do you think he fell asleep when he got back and is still snoozing away now? Fair enough. You're right. Let's keep waiting. Well, since we've got some time on our hands, let's put our heads together and try to figure out that poem. Tone Deaf Bard mentioned some ingredients, but they all sounded super abstract. An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Do you have any ideas? Yeesh, that's even more abstract. How do we go about looking for this wine's character? Where do we start? But I choose the other one. Really, this is kind of annoying. That gets me a lot. It doesn't matter what we choose. It's going to be the same reaction. And it's not like we can reload back to see the other reaction. Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Wow. That... Actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Violaza Fest. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That tone deaf bar, did he just make all this up on the spot? In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony! Oh, ho, ho, now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there! We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way! Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon! I'm sorry. I'm late. That's all right. They were just chatting. Ah, uh, look at the siblings. And although Benedict is kind of absent here, but I appreciate it. The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to him, we're finally on to something. Yeah, the Traveler, not us. Again, the Traveler is kind of character on his own, but Mihoyo? Oh, let's make him a blank character. <sighs> How many times I committed that? Too many. Hi. I was on my way. Then I saw Klee. Fire in the forest has used up. All fist blasting. Mm, I don't know. To be honest, I don't want Klee. But in the same time, maybe I'm gonna want... Because, I don't know, I want to pair with Razor and... Her mom when she's gonna be playable. But I can't afford the, all the five stars. But, hey, it's still cute. They let me out for Vine Laser Fest. Ah, yes. Then, oh yeah, if I... I don't think I can remember, although it was so long ago. At the end of her story, I think it was this event or the other one she mentioned. No, I think actually the other one with 
Hearty, what is called love. You know that I'm not great with names, especially the one made up. But yeah, usually gets out one per week and then she's locked down. Alpedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe for an extra strong sobriety potion. So he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! What about the Diana? And Titi? And all the little ones? Of course, I'm kidding. I wanted to join in too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. Very own way? Uh-oh, this does not bode well coming from Glee. And that's when I bumped into Razor. Razor was acting kind of different than usual, like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. <laughs> what about his dad? Mommy. Oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Klee's gonna come help. Why do I feel Klee's father is the opposite? Actually, I'm really curious if they're gonna actually do Klee's father. Imagine that. A team made up of Klee's parents and herself. I'm not be surprised if somehow she has some kind of sibling, older or younger. I can kinda see that. Man, imagine if. No, I don't think one of the two is be Klee related. Hmm. Nah, I think too much. <sighs> Razor! Razor! Finally, I found you! Bennett? Oh! <laughs> Look who's here! Hey, everyone! Here, this is for you! Uh, a small lampgrass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lampgrass? Huh, that's true. They do glow, after all! No, no! I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was, they're really big and easy to spot. So, I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh... I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay, I guess maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. Too late. And typic Bennett. You think he's gonna tip once, but no, he's gonna tip twice while doing the 360. And still survive somehow. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation too, and asked if we could help. Lisa being a mom. 
and I love it. Again, Mihoyo do her skin justice. Make her be like a five star. And I bet your ass I gonna record that too. And Rebel, you don't know Lisa. Wow, Lisa is doing some real work for once. Oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. Hey, Paimon. But really? But I guess that's kind of depict her. I don't know why, but I kind of see the towns too big, but although they are kind of little in game, but they're supposed to be much, much bigger in the world. So I kind of guess why better than no Lisa. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lampgrass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you've got to help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please take me with you, please. I want to join in. How can you say no to that face? Although that's gonna come at the cost of burning the forest. Lee's in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Hmm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, Bennett. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Klee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't know why, but man, please so innocent that she didn't know what she just say. Although I can't imagine Ali is gonna be a pyro, I don't know what weapon, but imagine that. Oh, now imagine her some kind of a team if we are gonna discover her dad too. Man, imagine that. Man, I saw so many comics with Klee and. Even with Bennett or Razor or Albedo. Man, this hit too hard. Bennett, you're lucky and you do not. Huh? Hmm. I really appreciate the thought, Klee, but I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Bennett says no, but the rest of the community say yes, definitely. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this. Uh, uh no, 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 no. Jumpy Dumpy. Yeah, it's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Never explode. Give it five minutes, it's gonna explode bigger than her usual bombs. Are you sure? No. Nope. With you, anything is possible. Yep. Jumpy Dumpty will be happy to make a new friend too. I also happy for you. Good idea! Maybe Klee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure will go smoothly. And you might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. Of course, it's also highly possible that Klee will be the only one who gets lucky. Still, on the flip side, 
aside, Clee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the Vinalisa Fest. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Vinalisa Fest! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie, uh, I mean Razor needs looking after. Honorary Knight, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. Hey, Razor is looking for both pairs, not just his mommy. And do you actually mean Wolfie has him or the boss? <laughs> Good luck. See you later, folks. And the fire is going to be on fire in five, four, three, two, one, kaboom. in such a good mood. Oh, Paimon almost forgot the whole reason we came here. Razor, the Traveler and Paimon were just chatting about the ingredients Venti mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. So, if we talk to some people we know at each place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes. These days, I think a lot. I am not smart. Not like teacher. Not like traveler. But I still have to think. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Oh, come on, Reza. I bet Lisa not only teach you, but she cares for you. And I hope her event is gonna be with Razor too. Actually, I kind of wish now for an event with Razor, Lisa, and Sino. All these three together. I don't know what's gonna be, but hmm. let's continue. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. That's why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it, and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Hmm, why do I feel we're gonna get asked what our parents are like? Because, hmm, I think he's kinda. Too late or maybe too early to actually go there yet? Never knew Bennett is like me. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. Yeah, we should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm. Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way... Okay, we go. I go too. Everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Huh? Hey, look, it's Albino! Uh, hello there. Looking to buy anything in particular, Albedo? 
I'm not in dire need of anything right now. I just heard that you were running the Knights of Evonia stall and thought I'd come over. As it happens, Timaeus and I made some progress in our research recently, so I took the opportunity to bring you a batch of our finished product. Consider it our contribution to the charity effort. Take a look here. We've got bottles of... Wait, what is this stuff? It's an extra strong sobriety potion that can sober up the intoxicated and alleviate hangovers. Please, hand them out for free to anyone who needs them. Having some complimentary items will undoubtedly help you attract more customers. Sounds like a super useful invention. It must have taken you ages. Oh, uh... <laughs> It must have been a while since I demonstrated my capabilities to you. I most likely wouldn't have had any interest in research like this in the past. But now, I think that it's worthwhile using alchemy to make people's lives easier in small ways like this. Definitely. Well, Paimon assumes so. Because Paimon's never been drunk before. But plenty of our customers probably have been. It would definitely ruin the mood if someone fell into the lake or tripped over a rock after having one too many glasses of festive cheer. Yeah, Albedo. You should take some snacks back with you and share them with Klee. It's on the house. All right, then. I shan't refuse. I had no idea you two had such keen business sense. It's a savvy choice of location for selling snacks. There's a festive mood all around, and the division of labor is eminently sensible. If any other Knight of Favonius were running the show, it would be a much more, uh... generic operation. Wow! Getting complimented by Albedo is an amazing feeling! This must be how it feels to drink an extra strong sobriety potion when you wake up with a groggy head! Anyway, it sounds like you know quite a lot about running a charity sale yourself, Albedo! Well, I provided a dozen or so landscape paintings for a previous charity event, also run by the Knights of Avonius. They must have been worth a fortune! Well, the people buying them certainly thought so. Some felt that my painting style was a rare one worth investing in, and offered a large sum of money for each work. This, plus the sizable profits made from auctioning some of my still-life paintings, seemed to give Alice an idea. She used her personal connections to apply for some sort of certification for my artwork. I believe they call it... copyright? Really, copyright? Really? Okay, I don't know why I even want to laugh or actually get angry. Mihoyo, you kind of forget it. This is a fantasy setting. Although I guess copyright was kind of thing a couple of decades ago. This is a fantasy setting, not a cyberpunk or, you know, modern type. Although I may, now that I think of it, I just kind of travels to dimension and stuff like that. But in the same time, I don't know why these kind of terms they're using like TCG copyright visit visit sorry this kind of feels odd in what is supposed to be a fantasy setting. Later, many artists began to imitate my landscape paintings, and they became a common sight throughout Mondstadt. According to the rules of the copyright that Alice applied for, the artists need to pay me a portion of their revenue for each landscape painting of this style that they sell. Wealth was never one of my goals. I don't care where the money goes, so I entrusted it to the Knights of Favonius and let them manage it. I suppose it would be fitting to use it to pay for the destruction that Alice has created. But from what I hear, 
They use it all on charitable initiatives, which is also a noble cause. You never cease to amaze, Albedo! Though it was hardly my original intention, I have come to embrace my unexpected philanthropic achievements. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> well then, I will be returning to the workshop. I wish you and the shop all the best. Thanks for your contribution, and good luck with your research! Come again when you're